WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished up 287, NASDAQ up 211, S&P is up 50. Now, that was a gain inside the NASDAQ of 1.6%, 1.4 for the S&Ps, and 0.87 for the Dow Industrials. Now, that being said, however, that was after a downdraft. <laughs> that was pretty amazing, okay? So, we went up. Even with the, we went up nine, uh, 99 points in the S&P from the high to the low. 42, 42 is the low. 43, 41 we're at, and that was coming off. You know, they took it down 10 points right into the close. So we got to 43, 58, which which totally makes sense. I mean, because if you're riding it all day long, man, you know, you gotta you gotta grab some of that money. We take a look at the NQs, and what you're gonna see is the exact same thing inside the NQs. You know, the bottom line is that the NQs. You know, went from a price point of this uh, 14,660, gets all the way up to 15,160, and now uh, the NQs hardly pull back at all. You know, so that that is a move and a half. And we get into the note and bond market. You take a look at the note and bond market. What do we have inside the note and bond market? Same type of setup. Bottom line is that you had the notes. You know, they dive, they dove down first. They tested the lows of Wednesday. They rejected them. You had 2.5 million contracts on Wednesday at 2.1 today. And, you know, you closed in the middle of the range. You didn't close high, but you closed in the middle of the range. That's a good start. That's a good start. Because it's still going to be about, well, it's going to be about bonds, notes, and the U.S. dollar. And if you take a look at the dollars, the first time since July 14th that we have come down three days in a row. And what I'm looking for <laughs> is that, you know, if you're, a, you know, in the metals market or if you want the S&P to go higher, you need to break this trend. We haven't broke the trend. You're right on the trend line right now, the channel line, rather. You break that channel line, the dollar can go back to 99. If it breaks it with conviction. Conviction means you have the wide price spread like we had today. The difference was today is that we made it up to 106.7. 974 and then we gave up a full penny. Have a great weekend folks, have a safe weekend.